Hello, Bradley from BRAD TV. It's like half two in the morning. I left the camera and this protein bar next to my bed. So if I woke up, I could eat this in the middle of the night. Let's dig in. Now hopefully I can get back to sleep. Good night. <sighs> Grenade fat burners that I don't like the idea. Fat burners, they're caffeine tablets. Pre-workout. Perk me up. Let's wait a minute, splash my face, go to the gym. Coronavirus has just shut down all the gyms in the UK. So I've got two days here. I'm gonna do a chest and triceps today, back and biceps tomorrow. Sponsored by Dettol. Let's give these a wipe. And the bench. Little lizard friend is back. Hello. Don't know if I'll ever see you again. That is not an exercise to drop the dumbbell on. <laughs> Gym's empty. Let's see how we look. Not bad. Just stocky guy at the moment. Getting fighting fit. Right, press ups to exhaustion. Ramstein on, and who knows when the next time I'll be in a gym doing press ups to exhaustion will be. Let's smash this. More. I think we're there. <laughs> so, let's do more. Bradley's strongest one there is. Please sponsor me during this apocalypse where things are expensive and I won't be able to buy these. <laughs> Don't ask, don't get. Was ich liebe, das muss sterben. How oh, oh, grab my knob, why not? I'm a rapper now. <laughs> um, how are we looking? Blah, blah, blah. It's only the 21st of March, and this is going to be a six month transformation February, March, April, May, June, July. So, a month and a half in. I'm looking stocky and big, so not even cutting yet. I'm just, I'm sort of loading up as well because I'm traveling around, I'm working still. Who knows how long that'll go on for, but we've got to carry on as normal. And then we'll cut down in the last three months. The last thing I want to do is go on a calorie restrictive diet, risk any sort of burnout with all this stuff going on. So absurd. Go hang my gym kit up in the Caribbean on my balcony, back home. The reality for so many people and me, I might be out of a job and now in my thirties might have to move back with my parents if I don't get my rent. <sighs> like you gotta laugh, it's absurd. I was in just such a good place after getting through last year and whatever I was dealing with up here and in here. I mean just by saying <laughs> thank god this shit has gone down this year. Who knows, when I was as low as I was last year, if I would have been ready, willing and able to face all this. Like, anyone out there who's dealing with, well, depression, heartbreak, grief, all manner of mental health things that are beyond your prediction and comprehension sometimes. Oh man, I wish you love and hope, and just know that these times can change and you've got this. Let's not give up. Family, friends, good food, rest, Water, hot water. I say good food. If there's shortages, just clean natural food as best you can. I think I'm doing it right doing a six month transformation, even though the gyms have buckered me, whatever. Before it'd be like crash weight gain, crash weight loss, and yes, it's not healthy, but that's what I do. I think doing it steadily, I can 
No, I'm clean bulking, aren't I? I'm eating well. Right, let's just get this down me, shower and breakfast. Shalom Aleikum. Oh, kettle's on the boil, making some noise. I had the usual bacon, omelette, with some toast for breakfast. Treated myself with some marmalade again, that was nice. Now porridge, salmon, apple. We can have it cold. Nice and watery. Treat it like a protein shake and chug it down. Mmm. I'll see you either tonight or tomorrow morning for the gym again. Or, what have I, have I got porridge in my beard? Why, why didn't you tell me that, guys? I look like a right mug. Anywho, I went on Amazon, looked up dumbbells, selling out, Argos selling out. I'm not home for a couple of days. And money's a bit, well not scarce, but if I'm unemployed, then money will become very scarce. So I might have to adapt and really invent my own stuff. That could be entertaining. That'll make for a fun video at least. See you later. Was ich lieber While I'm sat here at this angle, some cheeky bugger yesterday said that I look like one of the villains from Superman 2. And I turn around and go like, oh, what, Zod? Thinking Terence Stamp. And I think, Zod, he looked pretty slick, yeah. So he goes, no, no, not the main one, the, the big, tall Frankenstein one. I can't remember his name. And I knew exactly who he meant, watching Superman 2 growing up. Apparently I look like him. Thank you very much. Whoa! So, almost two months now into my six month transformation. Of course, the pandemic and all the gyms being closed at home for what might be, well, the rest of that six month transformation. Like, who knows? Bradley's strongest one there is. And this, this might be the last time I'm in a gym for a while. No gyms back home, and like I said, the gym equipment at home is selling out online. I don't want to go to my parents and risk giving them anything if I've got anything. It might be a case of back to the old school, filling a rucksack with water bottles and books and lifting it. Like before I went to a gym, I think when I used to skateboard, I was like 15, 16. I started like putting stuff in bags in my room and just lifting it in weird ways. I didn't even realize that what I was doing was certain exercises like rowing and lifting it. I was just using my imagination initially and then I learned. I learned and dedicated myself, and that is why I know how to build the muscle. Oh, who knows if I'll be here again, ever. Oh, whoa, whoa. White chocolate one. It tastes like um, Milky Bar. Milky Bar buttons. And I think they said that the, the gyms and the cinemas and restaurants things, they could be closed for 12 weeks, like three months. I hope, or say myself, and, but more other people, I hope we can all deal with it. I thrive on my own. I do my writing, I do my creative stuff, and I can work out in my bedroom. I've got my home workout thing. But if you're watching this and you're not sure, and you're thinking, wow, 12 weeks is a long old time to not have anything to do, don't panic. Try and use this and see it as an opportunity. That's why I'm rambling and trying to say, <laughs> 12 weeks is a long old time. You can get a lot done, learn a lot about yourself, and learn a lot about the world or a topic or master a skill or something. If we are fit and healthy, let's try and use this time for our benefit and say the world's benefit, everyone's benefit. You create, you learn, you get better, you share things, it enriches the planet. Let's try and get something good going on here. Yeah, 12 weeks on my own, man. I'm Batman in the Batcave, figuring everything out. I'm not Batman, I'm Bane. <laughs> Lifting heavy, getting big, getting strong, crushing my enemies. And on a serious note, I don't want to die. Yet, at least. I'm smiling and laughing and joking and talking about even rent and gyms and things like that, but that would suck. If I've been exposed to something and some maybe overexposed from different places, I, that would suck. I've got so many weird creative things that I want to do and projects I want to come together and show you. Like if I 
pop my clogs, I'm gonna be laying there like pissed off that I haven't done it. It really is like that motivational video where the guy's saying something like, you're lying there on your deathbed and all around you are the ghosts of the things you wanted to do. It really is terrifying to think that all this stuff that in my head I know I've got and I wanna do and create and share and that has to get done. Has to get done. Rant, rant, rant. Drink, shower, breakfast. Hello, hello, hello. Right, breakfast I had my omelette with bacon, wholemeal toast as normal. But for lunch now, something I never do. I always eat my tuna and my porridge. I treated myself to room service. I don't know when or if I'll be coming back here at all. So I've treated myself. Whoa, mama. Medium cooked burger, cheddar cheese, with spicy mango pineapple chutney, bit of salad, and just french fries. There's no other way to do it. That is glorious. The mango pineapple chutney is glorious. Onions, good. A quote that I've been reminded of lately is Warren Zevon. Enjoy every sandwich. He's asked that when he's got cancer. Knows he's gonna die. Total blank, was it Letterman? I can't remember, he's on a TV show. And the host asks him what he's thinking about where he is and looking back on life. And in one sentence, enjoy every sandwich. You never know what's around the corner. He's not talking about big, grand, opulent things or extravagant stuff or even family or achievement or anything like that. It's just enjoy every sandwich, like the most basic thing possible in the world, just making a sandwich and eating it. Enjoy it. And by enjoy as well, I think that means be present. Be present. Enjoy every sandwich. That is a tasty burger. I did have a napkin somewhere. Lovely, jubbly. This out of the way. So I just wanted to keep you updated there. It's almost the end of two months, but with stuff that's going on at home, I'm not going to be able to shoot an end of two month video. So take this as that. Yeah, no alcohol, no energy drinks. That's a, a doddle at the moment. I'm dealing with other stuff and there's the pandemic and life to sort out. But no alcohol and energy drinks, easy peasy right now. I'm glad I'm in a, such a good place to deal with things I'm going to inevitably have to deal with soon. But I'm feeling good with my body, my health, I'm feeling good with my mind. I'm looking forward with hope and energy. I've got a lot of things I want to do. I could eat that burger again. <laughs> it's the good thing, you work out. You can't eat like that 24-7, but you can treat yourself like that guilt-free. It's great. <laughs> Whole corona no-no thing. Uncharted waters. What could potentially be scary times? Let's all keep a level head on, be patient, caring and sensible. And not lose hope, not lose track of life. None of us know how this is going to unfold. I wish you all the health, happiness and energy I can. Stay safe, guys. Hopefully I've entertained you and, I don't know, made you think a little bit. Or just brightened up the day, made you smile with my curly hair and stupid face. I'm going to keep making videos as and when I can. Say if I get stuck at home and I have time to adapt and build my own equipment to use. If I can't get hold of any dumbbells to do my home workout stuff, then that would be a whole load of series of videos. Building gym kit, that would be amazing. Look after yourselves, look after each other. Take care and be rad. Thank you for watching.